for surveillance purposes? Are you, are you re-auditioning? Well, I just like to watch it back <laughs> later and it's like, it gives me a little Christ giggle. knows what's going to end up on that. Henry. Unbelievably, it's been about three years since we last um, did a video catch up like this and uh, since uh, your diagnosis. Tell me what's been happening over the last three years. How are you and what's been going on uh, musically? Okay, well, musically, um, a number of things. Obviously, the last time we spoke was at the start of the pandemic and it looked like as much as I wanted to remain involved, that was going to be it for actually playing the music. But Obviously, over time, we've had some discussions and decided to give playing the keyboard a go, um, which I used to be able to do anyway. And obviously, we've done some of that on the last couple of albums. And it's great to have found something else that I can still do, despite what happened to my right hand. Um, it's been great. <laughs> You seem to have been enjoying it a lot. Um, it's been great to be yeah. back on stage with you in particular. How did it feel to come back onto stage in a, in a new role with the keyboard? It, it, was, it was great. It, it, it just, after everything that happened, I didn't expect to be able to suddenly come back to doing something that I'd done for years because I love doing it and I love being part of the band. And then just having that opportunity to get back on stage with you guys and uh, play the music I love playing and it no it's been fantastic it's been it's been wonderful you know it's nice to say just the new the new format of the band as it were uh, playing together for the first time was was a pretty special feeling obviously we got our longtime friend um, Matthew Brock on the guitar now um, who we've all known for a long time uh, I think this is the best the band have been and there's something really quite almost poetic about the fact that in the previous version of the band I replaced Matt and then he has come back and playing alongside the rest of us as we were with me playing the keys which I as I say I'm loving the change I'm loving being able to do that and uh, no I, th I think with this is the best we have been. I honestly believe that. Be interesting recently because obviously we've recorded uh, a new song. And this is the first recording we've actually done since Race Against the Sun Part 2 was released. Uh, and of course, that also makes it the first recording in this, you know, the current sort of format of the band and since your diagnosis, actually. <clears throat> how did it feel coming back into the studio in a slightly different role? And how did it, how, how do you think the songs uh, sort of turned out with the keys incorporated? I think, I mean, we were obviously heading towards this with Rats Part 1 and 2, but I don't know, it just felt complete in a way, the way we did it, it just, and no, it, it, it felt wonderful. And it's a really interesting song following on everything that's happened over the last few years, the world around us. So what, what brought the idea for this song on exactly? So this is actually one of the first songs that we started working on during the uh, the COVID lockdowns. Essentially, 
The song has an upbeat sort of feel, but also a slight melancholy feel. I think there's a good reason for that, because at the time there was a real yearning for the lockdown to end and for us all to be together again. And there was a sense of the song being about being reunited, essentially, and being with your friends again and celebrating. And I think around that time we were actually, it was probably around summertime as well. So it was festival, would have been festival season you know, festivals like uh, Download Festival and Budstock and such going on, or would have been going on. That sh helped to shape the lyric, and somewhere that's always been close to heart, our hearts is Castle Donington and all the festivals we've attended there over the years. So we decided to shape the lyrics around going back to Donington for the first time, you know, after the after the lockdown. I would say as well, though, it's, it's a song that's about more than just Donington. It's a song that is just about being reunited with your friends, wherever in the world that is. So whether it's, you know, Donington Park, you know, back in open air, Catton Hall, it's about going to a special place and celebrating life and music and new friendships together. And it felt appropriate to call the song Donington because it's somewhere that we've all been many times over the years since we were teenagers. <laughs> We'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> so for the first time, we've decided to actually do something we've not done before, which is actually to make the single release a, a charity release. Um, and there is a charity that we've chosen. Do you want to explain a bit more about that, Henry? Yeah, so um, obviously, because of my now health issues, we have chosen in a charity that supports research into multiple sclerosis and it's called the MS International Federation. So the money that gets put towards MS in general goes into research that is looking at how to actually repair some of the damage that is caused by the condition because what happens is you have a relapse or an attack and it damages the nerve coating which is called myelin in the blood brain barrier and that can affect almost any part of your nervous system and so uh, you know I'm, I'm very lucky I've, I've only been mildly affected by it but then the damage that it's that are caused they're looking into ways of repairing some of that damage and there are ways of working around the problems it causes but it's still very much an ongoing area of investigation so any money that's put towards that will obviously assist with the ongoing huge number of trials and uh, research that is going into this. So we've set up a band camp page that is bespoke for this where people will be able to go stream the song and then if they want to make a donation um, they can download the song and submit any amount they want to the to the charity. Um, so it's really exciting to be working with the charity for the first time and obviously it's, it's highly personal to you and, and, and to all of us now. A few weeks. Yes, mate. All right. You take care, bud. Yeah. All right. Cheers, man. All right. <laughs>